Hello and welcome to the second match of the European Team Fortress 2 Highlander League between Germany and France. And with me is the lovely and beautiful Kip. Oh, what an introduction, GPS. Thank you so much. We are here on Viaduct, which was France's pick for a map. After going 1-0, after being defeated 1-0 on Converge, they are hopefully looking to make a big comeback and be aggressive is what we're hoping for on this map. This King of the Hill map, which they have shown to be in the past very good on. Oh, but Big Homer gets a huge stab on Flower, the French medic in the beginning, so that is going to pretty much stop their aggression in the tracks. Yeah, and now we just see there's more players up for uh, Germany. They also have their medical line. They're just going to go up and cap this point and start the clock. And the way this works is that whoever holds this point for a three minutes total wins. And you can see in the top there's a timer for red and a timer for blue. If blue caps the point, uh, the timer will start for blue and the red timer will stop and it will go back and forth like this and also when you control the point You have a disadvantage because the the time it takes for you to respawn after you die is actually Longer than the time it takes for the team that doesn't hold the point giving like the the team that has a disadvantage by not holding the point a slight advantage in the in the response um, So that's uh, the way the map works we just saw the uh, first Uber from Germany, and it was popped on a pyro, and they pushed far back into blue territory, and it was um, kind of interesting there. I believe it was a sniper force, but um, definitely not what uh, Germany wanted to do. France is pretty happy about that now, because they're going to have 100% Uber soon, and Germany's not going to have anything to uh, oppose it. French Uber popped, and they took down a mini and they're going to be putting some pressure on the point now, and uh, a lot of players down for Germany right now, so this point is going to get captured pretty quickly. And we mentioned this in the pregame, if the sniper would have a Gerardi, this would be the time to throw it, but I think both snipers are actually running the controversial Razorback. Yes. And the, w the way thing um, the Razorback does, it protects you against one backstab once. That is all it does. So, uh, in a map where deathmatch and just killing your opponents is really Alpha Omega, it's kind of uh, weird to see them not using, you know, SMT or uh, the Jurati, which actually, you know, makes them take more damage if you throw the PP at them. Absolutely, just doesn't seem like a, a good team play or move, more um, individual. Yeah. But we are seeing Germany has 100% Uber, they are, have a two player advantage on France and they are pushing forward. The and demo medic goes down in. for France. He's still ring the Vitus House. He will have that 20% Uber when he spawns, but uh, still he died there. And uh, Uber lead is going to be for uh, Germany, or a slight Uber lead at least. And uh, Homer taking a little few hits there. He's really in the red. Scout on him, getting a great jump, and now he's all alone on the point. Needs to fall back. He's uh, rocking the Crusaders crossbow, which I um, can agree with as a medic. I think the needles are much more effective in terms of retreating and getting some damage on those uh, players that are after you. Yeah, but I'm guessing but he is... Has... Yes, go ahead. <laughs> maybe his really good aim is probably better than me, I'm just going to say. Yeah, he's like Uber Baller game. Anyway, I just want, I think he, the reason he's using it is because so he will be able to like heal his snipers and engineers that's on the high ground uh, when they're like pinned down. Because this map like really favors wrangled sentry guns, which is the remote-controlled sentries. And snipers because of the way like it's pretty long it has some narrow corridors and due to that fact you can actually heal people pretty far away because the way the crossbow works is that when you shoot it and you hit an enemy it does damage and when you hit your teammates it heals them. I am not sure of the physics of this but that's how <laughs> it works. It's TF2 physics. Just like how the, the quick fix makes the medic jump into the air. So we're seeing France here being kind of aggressive. Uh, not seeing the passivity we saw last game, and here is the Uber pop, and counter Uber is popped as well, and... Oh, not looking good for France there, but they have that little dispenser, and that dispenser, if it survives, it's gonna be huge, and the Demo Man shoots the dispenser, dispenser is really low, and the dispenser survives, and the way the dispenser works is that it gives your team health and ammo, and down the dispenser goes... And, uh, and that is the dispenser play-by-play by, play by High GPS. Yeah, play-by-play, play, yes. <laughs> um, oh, Spy on the Medic got the stab on... Uh, Digo and Chadden, the, the Pyro, not able to get that that medic though. There's big Homer in behind the lines. Blue is really uh, hurt right now and down on players. Only the support and lighter classes are up right now, so Germany used that to the advantage and pushing in. Time is ticking down, they still have a minute 30 left, whereas France only has 36 seconds left. But minute 30 is not bad, not hard to come back from. 
we are seeing that they do push up a little bit further than, um, I mean, not as far as Germany. Germany was when they had control of the point almost into blue territory and almost almost going to the chokes to their spawn, but that is not happening here with France. I'm and now a as really crazy bugger with the mini sentry there, but it's gone now. I saw the engineer was running around with the sentry as he was shooting. But uh, yeah, it seems like our Germany is still holding. And teams, uh, well, France are actually looking better in the terms of kills as well than Germany does. And uh, they need to cap this point here. Not sure why they're running off. They need to cap this as fast as possible. And down goes the medic to a body shot. And Flicky takes down the German, German Demoman thigh. So no stickies for Germany for a little while. And only 30 seconds left on a clock for France to hold us. Mm, Germany pushing back in just not wasting any time. They didn't even have that much of an advantage, but they just wanted to get that point because time is so low right now. Time is of the essence in Koch, King of the Hill. It's all about the times and keeping the point clear of your opponents. Here comes a soldier for France is going to try and do some some damage here, but uh, it's uh, taking some pistol fire by the spy and actually gets taken out by the German spy, Big Homer. Big ups him for shooting a soldier down. Only seven seconds left to go, plus that tiny bit of overtime. And France really needs to bring this. They're on the point. They have an Uber. They will pop it. Clearing off the point is the heavy and the demo. Medic still got that Uber. That time is going away. They're going to be able to take this first round. Indeed, it goes. Germany goes up one nothing. Oh yeah, Germany looking very strong, looking very good here, and France really needs to step up their game if they want to win this. Germany took the first game, and uh, they took the first round now, so they definitely have the aggressive, uh, like the momentum and then the, like the mind game they have. Like they have a, this little grip on, um, on France right now. Absolutely, France, I mean, Germany is feeling really confident right now. Kind of like the, the taller person's like, oh, you can't reach this, haha. <laughs> Here comes, uh, but actually, look at France right here, just pushing and majorly up, but now they're backing up. And that was a very good uh, push there by France, and they still haven't kept the point. They need to keep the point if they want to win this, and there's only a heavy on the point right now, as well as the now medic. The and they're eventually going to get this. Flower getting the Uber, he was a little far up there, I was really nervous for him, but he managed to get the Uber, and now falling back. We're going to see right here if France has that drive to be really aggressive and just kind of mow Germany down instead of sitting back and waiting for them to push in. So uh, France has held the point for a little while here now, only a uh, scout for Germany on the point here as uh, Germany is clustering around. And both Ubers popped at the same time as far as I can see. Well, uh, our German Uber was a bit earlier so it will end faster as well. But just so much uh, German presence on the point here and nearly a total wipe for uh, France right there. Yeah, that German Uber was able to take out the Heavy immediately before Flo was able to pop it on him, so not able to do as much damage as they wanted to. So right now Germany is holding the point. Currently uh, France has the most time on the point, but uh, Germany definitely has the strongest presence uh, on the point right now. They're just far forward, the soldiers on the high ground. Soldiers are good at shooting down. You can just see he's holding here along with the scout, and it's going to be very hard for uh, Germany, no, France to push uh, Germany back from this uh, position that they're in, because they're just uh, so strong right now, playing to each other class's uh, strong points. Absolutely. France is on the left, and trying to push in through this narrow choke. It looks like they're able to clear out a little ground, but they're going to have to watch out for this sniper, who, that's again, that is a um, very talented sniper there, but the... German Uber is popped, trying to just push. They got the medic, and that's what France they wanted. Back. And the thing yep. is, if their medic survives this, Big Homer being really low, he's on fire, but he is fine now he's with his uh, engineer friend healing back up. The thing is, what Germany is doing is that they they have a lead. They had an Uber lead, but thanks to the bite, I saw uh, uh, Flawa actually has um, has a slight Uber advantage there. But generally, if you're like ahead in Uber charge, you just extend the Uber lead. Uh, especially on the King of the Hill match, where it's just all about deathmatching, you know, killing your opponents and holding that point. Absolutely, and looks like Mista is having... He's been having a bit of trouble trying to get um, mini centers up and trying to wrangle them. Also with dispensers, with the German team continually pushing forward, it's hard to maintain buildings as an engineer. 
So I uh, sympathize with him right there, but his team gets the point right there, and this will be a nice time to push up and put a mini sentry in a really good location, which he is very talented at finding those locations. Now we're seeing some aggressive uh, holds here for uh, Germany. The soldier is trying to uh, hold his high ground here, but there's a pyro there. It's going to reflect the rockets. And just, uh, there's four right and always oh, actually hiding behind this little fence here, and he's going to go up and get a couple rockets off, but uh, I was hoping he could get the sniper, over, but a bit unlucky there as he goes down to uh, some scout fire. Both Ubers popped, got heavy on heavy action. Oh, heavy on demo action, sorry about that. Now they're both invulnerable, so nobody doing damage to anybody right there. So, um, Uber's not doing anything. And hopefully we'll see a little more soft pushes, which means you don't wait for the Uber to push in. Which it looks like that's what Germany is doing right now. Yeah, and it uh, paid off pretty well. I mean, they got the Pyra and they got the Spy. Uh, they only lost their Pyra in return, and they, they have the number advantage, so... Uh, any person you can pick off is going to be um, playing a huge part here because it's just such a high level of uh, play here from both teams. So we have uh, Shocky here, sniper for Germany, trying to... Um, or Flippy rather, trying to pull off some funky, funky shot and actually gets a headshot on a scout and then gets immediately counter-sniped. It's currently sniper advantage for uh, Ger uh, Fra France right now and they have the Uber as well. They have 100% while as Germany's Uber is just ready just now. And nice headshot there by Flippy taking out a soldier in mid-air as he was rocket jumping. That was excellent. Very nice right there, and meanwhile the blue Uber is able to push Germany back a little bit, but they lost a ton of players. Medic is still alive, but the Heavy and uh, Soldier are down. Medic is going to push up with his Sniper and Demo as they help to uh, defend the points. And they will they will be able to hold on to it for a little bit as uh, Germany respawns and regroups. So it'll be interesting to see how Germany plays this. Uh, currently, oh, France does not have that presence just as they're way far back, they're being way defensive and that's actually going to be hurting them once all of the red players get to the point here as uh, Shockey takes out Flippy. So sniper advantage for Germany right now. And that's exactly what they need and they take out the medic as well. This soldier here, Mr. Klar, is doing a ton of damage here as a soldier as well along with his demo man friend here. Just some great aggression right there, um, did, did, no holds barred. You saw what just happened there. They were like, oh yeah, you have the point? Yeah, we'll just go and get the point. And that's exactly what they did. They just rolled up and killed absolutely everything. And now they have an Uber. They'll be able to counter anything that comes in from France right now to protect the point. It is popped. All the medic has to do is stand on the point, and Germany wins. That's 2-0. And France got to be feeling it right now. Yeah, this is... Um, this is tough. It's you, you can come back from two and zero, but it's also uh, you have to come back mentally first. Right now, they're just not confident. They're not making those pushes. They're playing way too defensively, which we've talked about, you know, yeah. a little too um, much. One maybe. thing is committing to your um, to your attacks, and one thing is uh, if you know you're gonna die, like you attack, you should try and take as many people with you as you can. Because if you die and you take two people with you. That's a good trade, in most cases, unless you're like, you know, a heavy, and you take with you, you know, like an engineer or a scout. Uh, hey, engineer are people too. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, just in overall, like, some classes actually do more damage than others. But as long as you can take down more than yourself, you're in for a good trade. And from what I've seen, that's what Germany's been doing. They have, like, been suiciding one soldier in, and they've been, like, trading one soldier for, like, demo scout NG. You know, that's a very good trade right there. Indeed, and it looks like um, Red popped their Ubo, I think, in order to s save someone, and Blue is coming out. They popped theirs much later, so they're going to have this advantage as they run in and try to get the Medic. And yes, Homer J is going to go down. Blue is going to be able to push up and recap at this point. So there we saw some nice aggression. They were able to save that Uber until they could um, get that advantage that they'll have a little time left over after their opponent's Uber stops. But now we look and they just um, are almost wiped. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. They, they seem to be doing really well and then they just died. Um, I guess you could say that the Germans' uh, deathmatch skills is better than the French because they always come out on top, even when they're behind. Uh, Germany just always comes back and due to that aggression. Here comes a demo man, he's jumping in and he deals a ton of sticky bombs. Uh, not able to trade anything for that, but uh, he sure makes them nervous. 
and, oh. and that's just going to push them farther back and be make them more hesitant to push forward. Flippy is actually running the Machina, which is a sniper that you can't no scope body shot, but uh, if you're fully in charge of the scope, you do more damage. But the main downside is that you leave tracers showing off your uh, position. Finally, we saw some really forward aggression right there. The T Mac, the soldier for France, bombing in, taking down Flora, the. the uh, I'm sorry, no, Homer J, the red medic. So, good play right there, but now they just are not able to defend. Look, Germany is pushing right back. No fear. Yeah, and actually, uh, Flippy actually switching to Jirai there, not running that uh, Razorback anymore. Which is interesting. And oh, T Mac on. Um, a dark hit for some reason. I guess he really does not want uh, sentries and heavies to be alive here. Oh, he actually gets a nice dark hit on the soldier here, taking out Klar, so soldier advantage for uh, Germany. You no, know, for France right now. And they're going to be pushing up here. Oh, nice hedge up there by Flippy taking out uh, Tech 36, which is going to delay France's, uh, France's push quite significantly. Yeah, Germany's going to have a nice uber advantage, and I wouldn't be surprised if they pushed in with it. Try to get a medic drop, but um, Flawa is probably going to have his before they push in, before Germany pushes in. Was taking a lot of damage, but he managed to get some health. Now he's got 100% pushing up with his heavier classes. We'll see if France can make something happen here. A medic pick would be good. Uber is popped for France and counter Uber is popped immediately, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, France can come out on top of this. And they actually get the heavy, and this is the advantage they need. They need to keep their heavy alive, and the heavy goes down, so no heavy for either team right now. And Germany seems to be taking the major losses here, but they're just so even right now. And it looks like Germany will come out of top on this one. Oh, the spy is so close to the pyro. Will he get the backstab? No, he actually runs straight into the flame. And the pyro goes down here. So, so much back and forth here. And nearly every single class has died in this matchup. And finally, the first respawner, the demo man, comes back and actually uh, carries this out. And uh, the heavy is back and he goes down. So that was really close. But Germany, once again, just showing that they're confident in, you know, just surviving their opponents and just holding that like a boss. Indeed, and I believe this is to best of five. So this might be it. Yeah. Uh, Blue still has some time, so it's not completely over yet. There's still a good chunk of time on there, but Blue, France needs to get up, and it does not look like anyone's going to spawn in time. So that is going to be the win. Germany takes it, ladies and gentlemen. And GG, good game. That is going to be the final of final score of the game, 3-0. And again, Germany took the first map, Converge, 1-0. So that means they take the whole thing, and they're now champions of the Highlander uh, ETF2 Nation Highlander Cup. So congratulations, Germany. Yes. So um, thank you guys for watching. Germany won. They just showed... An amazing skill, just being aggressive and pulling out a victory whenever they could, even when they were behind. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I am GPS, and with me is the lovely and beautiful Kip. Yes. <laughs> if you like our stuff, you should definitely um, check out my stuff on YouTube. Um, it's YouTube slash Falafel1066. And you have one too, don't you, GPS? What? Oh, yeah, so I have a YouTube too. YouTube? <laughs> Probably watching on this uh, right now, unless you're in the stream. Or else high GPS TF2. So yeah, with that we uh, congratulate uh, Germany and France. You should um, be more aggressive and not surrender so quickly. Hey oh! Oh, that had to happen. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us.